What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers. I, I got a, I got a simple question for you guys. Would you buy this extremely biased fighter pass if this were to somehow be announced? Now, uh, go ahead and answer the question in the comments. And then, uh, if, you, if you want to, feel free. Make up what your own fighter pass would look like. If Smash Bros. Ultimate were to do a second fighter pass, you know, five more characters, and you got to know all of them right up front. Who would you pick? Who would you put in? So this is why it's biased, because these are my top five characters that I want to see playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I'll go over the few uh, the five characters real quick, and I'll uh, just kind of give you a brief exp uh, explanation as to why I want those characters. But uh, again, this is not any leak. Don't take it as a leak. This is just a video that I, I'm doing because... I want to know how my my, uh, my characters stack up against everybody else. Are these good picks? Are these completely terrible picks? I mean, then again, that's why this is a biased fighter's pass. So let me know what you guys think, and let me know your own fighter pass picks as well, if there happens to be a second one. So, let's get on to the first character. And it happens to be Waluigi. Yes, I know he's an assist trophy, but just roll with me here. Guys, this is my personal biased pick. I, I'm going to stress that, all right? These are what I want to see. This is what I want to happen. I don't care what a character is. I don't care if they're an assist trophy. I don't care if they're a me costume. I don't care if they're a spirit. None of that. I, I, I genuinely don't care for the sake of this video. This is just who I want to see in Smash Bros. as a playable DLC fighter. All right? Play, simple stuff. So, Waluigi, why? Uh, he's been an assist trophy forever. Uh, let me... Uh, let me let me wind up a bit more. He's been my number one wanted mo most wanted character since pre Brawl. So I've wait I've been waiting quite a few quite a few Smash Bros games to uh, see this guy playable. I still remember going on the Smash Dojo back in the Brawl days. I was at school, uh, high school. I check it every day, first class, jump on the computer, check it, and I still remember the day that uh, Waluigi was announced as an assist trophy. I'm like, what the hell's an assist trophy? No, thank you. I want the actual playable character. And then, of course, fast forward to Smash Wii U, same treatment. Like, ah, uh, not again. And then fast forward to Smash Ultimate. Oh, again, are you serious? Why is he still an assist trophy? Make a playable already. So, uh, he's, he's been my number one wanted. I'm not a bandwagon, nerd, hopper, whatever you want to call me. I've, I'm a true fan of the character. I like him. He's got a very quirky personality. Moveset could be so just strange, but that's what makes Waluigi work. So phenomenally, in my opinion, he's got the potential to swim through the air. You could do stuff from the Mario spinoff games, like uh, you could give him a sports-based move set. You could throw in a Mario Kart, you know, his actual kart from the Mario Kart series, as potentially like a side B. You could do something with the dice from Mario Party. You know, you could get like you could get this character to represent the actual Mario spinoff games, and you could do that very well. You could do his stomps. I mean, like, he's already kind of got some built-in attacks with his assist trophy. He's got the stomp. You can uh, he can bury you into the ground. He's got the tennis racket, forward smash, easy stuff. Uh, like, like I, there's so many things. You know, who cares? I don't care that he's never been in a mainline, mainstream Mario game. I don't care. You can like a character for whatever reason, right? Never stop supporting a character that you like, all right? I want to make that clear. Never, never stop supporting. I don't care. Look, I can accept the fact he's an assist trophy. I get that, you know. I'm fine with it. Fine. He's an assist trophy. No no big deal. But that doesn't mean I still don't want to see him playable uh, for Smash Bros. All right? So, hey, I like the character. Uh, I mean, eventually, if there's any assist trophy that des deserves to be upgraded to playable character status, it's Waluigi. Let's face it. I mean, he, he's he's been shunned. He's been shafted long enough. Let's, uh, let's, let's get him an upgrade finally, please. Up next, Crash Bandicoot. Now, come on. You can't tell me that if you grew up in the 90s or the early 2000s, that there wasn't at some point, and of course you would have had to have played video games, but you can't tell me there wasn't one point in your life where you're like, you know what, I would love to see Mario and Crash actually fight it out, put them in the same game, and let them go at it. Smash Bros. brings us that possibility, gives us that chance that it could happen. Crash is a very popular pick. Sure, you could say, you know, those quote-unquote leakers you could you could believe them if you want it's all good believe what you want but crash is still a very popular pick a very just a, a very well loved character has great history with him the name is um very recognizable the move set would be very enjoyable uh like spinning fruit bazookas he's got his uh his crates uh bounce crates uh you could like he's got his little pals like there's a 
there's a polar bear he can end up riding. There, there's there's quite a bit. I, um, I'm i not going to go into an entire breakdown for a moveset, but I'm just saying. Crash, Icon, we could finally... And by the way, no. There's still people to this day that believe Crash Bandicoot is owned by Sony. No. Naughty Dog does not work on these games. Activision works on these games. Activision's the one that redid the uh, Insane Trilogy. They did the Crash... Uh, Team Racy Nitro Field. They did those games. That's not Sony. But I still get the appeal of the Nintendo versus Sony aspect of it. Because, like, look, Crash was the character. He was Nintendo. Or, sorry, he was Sony's mascot. He was their version of Mario. Fell off after a little bit of time, but he's made a resurgence. He's back. Why don't we see him in Smash Bros.? I think it could happen. I, th I do think there's a good chance. Because uh, with the additional DLC, like Sakurai said, that they're doing. Ah, uh, you know what? I think they, they were listening and they were hearing what the fans have been kind of speculating on a lot. And really, he, he's he got to be in the conversation for the additional DLC, I would think, right? I would lo I'd love to see it. A lot of other people would love to see it. Uh, I mean, there's a few people that are against uh, Activision and I... Okay, that that's your... that, that Hey, feel how you want. I'm not going to try to argue with that, but... I, I'm not going to argue. The big point, I would love to see Mario against Crash finally settle it in Smash Bros. Let's make it happen. Moving on to Master Chief. Now, come on. If you're a gaming fan, how do you pass up this opportunity? How do you pass up Master Chief in Smash Bros? Yes, I know he's from Microsoft and he's never going to happen. But isn't that what we said about Banjo? He was too Microsoft and he's never going to happen. Yes, I completely understand. Banjo had very good ties with Nintendo. Good history with Nintendo on the N64. A lot of fans for him. But Master Chief's on that next level up. He's an icon in gaming. He would... Could you think about, just for the fact that we have the Game Awards coming up, that, uh, actually in a few days. Ah, <laughs> I, hope we get, I hope we get a Smash announcement. Watch, watch them pull something and we get nothing for Smash Bros. Watch that. You know how many people would be so pissed? Oh, whew, let's hope that doesn't happen though. But could you imagine if they ended the Fighter Pass with somebody like a Master Chief? Or they even just made the announcement of Master Chief is going to be coming to Smash Bros. The internet would freaking explode. That would be so, that would be so, so iconic, right? Master Chief, great potential move set, energy swords, gravity hammers, uh, needlers. You, you could have your assault rifles, your shotguns. He's got his bubble shields. Uh, you could do cloning. You could do uh, like what else? What else? There, there's so many different things you could do stuff with. Uh, maybe the ghosts, uh, it, you know, the uh, one of the vehicles, Warthog potentially, Final Smash. There's so many great things, and like uh, the the move set is really kind of off the charts. If you honestly want to think about it, there's so much potential there. So it's not like move set is an issue, not at all. The, just the idea though of Master Chief duking it out with other gaming icons, gaming legends, and plus, let let, let me bring this up real quick. Nintendo, and Microsoft. They are very friendly towards each other lately. Of course, they work together. We got Banjo and Smash. Uh, Microsoft is going to bring the uh, Xbox Live over to the Switch at some point. Uh, maybe they're... Uh, I don't know. Maybe Microsoft is going to use Banjo being in Smash Bros. to reboot the Banjo franchise. And maybe, just maybe, Banjo gets a new game on the Switch as well as the new Xbox once that comes out. If it does come out, I'll say. I mean, come on. Way to reboot... A great way to reboot a, an iconic character... For two different companies, essentially, you know, so it's like they both get to profit off of this, but uh, look, they're very friendly towards each other, I think, maybe, I, I still think this is kind of a fantasy character, I'm going to be realistic, but this is characters I want to see, so Master Chief is still on my list. Speaking of fantasy characters, pipe dream characters, ones that will never ever ever happen, Sora's up next. Sora, Kingdom Hearts, yes, Disney, you got that whole thing. But Disney has said on several occasions, maybe not several, but they have said before that they are willing to let Sora be in Smash Bros. Uh, there's been quite a bit of, you know, quote-unquote leaks with Sora and potential, you know, I don't know, somebody misspeaking about Sora being in Smash Bros., whether that be through Twitter or whatever it is. Look, Cloud was never going to happen, right? I always, it, It's a very... Very fair, very similar comparison. Cloud from Final Fantasy. Never going to happen in Smash Bros. He was a he was Sora at one point. He was a Master Chief at one point. Like, you have these characters that you always want. And going back to Smash Wii U 3DS here. We have these characters that we wanted. And then we had these characters that were in the category of we want, but we know they're never going to happen. But then Nintendo was just like, you know what? We're Nintendo. We'll do what we want. We'll, we'll strike a deal with whoever we want. Clouds and Smash Bros. What a freaking enough! That's still the best 
announced character for me for all time just because it was so surprising, so shocking, so unexpected. Just insane. Like, how do you... Could, could Nintendo do something like that again? I, I wouldn't put it past them. Come on. It's Nintendo. They, if they want it to happen, they will make it happen. And, uh, like, they could sit down. I You got a lot of parties involved. Obviously, you got Disney on their side of things. You got Square for their side of things. You got Sakurai and Nintendo for their side of things. Can they come to an agreement for the terms? I think they could. And then you'd have to kind of come to terms with, all right, how's the character going to play? Is there going to be any other Disney representation? What about the Mickey Mouse charm on his Keyblade? You take that out, you just give him a different Keyblade altogether. There's a lot of factors here, but I think there's there's hope. I do think there's hope. And that's one thing you should never give up. Like I stated at the beginning, never give up on a character. Who cares what their current situation is? Fight for who you want. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for everything that you like in life, right? So, supporting Sora, supporting Waluigi, Crash, Master Chief, or even my next character, who cares? Or whether it's any of your own characters that I don't mention, don't give up hope. All right, keep fighting for him. Maybe someday it happens. Maybe it does. So that leads us to the last character for my biased fighter pass, Isaac from Golden Sun. Yes, duh, he's an assist trophy. I know that. So was Waluigi, but let's get past that, can we? All right, cool. Since we're past that, Isaac, Golden Sun, he's also been kind of mistreated as an assist trophy. Look, first, I will say back in Brawl, I like that. I like the inclusion because it got more people to get eyes on the character, got more eyes on the franchise, so to speak, and people started falling in love with this character. And over the course of Brawl and on the lead-up to Smash Wii 3DS, Isaac was a character that was pretty... Pretty decently requested and considered for, uh, as, uh, at least amongst the Smash uh, community, was considered to be, uh, you know, going to be upgraded to a playable character status. And then, you know, on the lead up to Smash Wii U, we never got an actual reveal. So we're like, all right, maybe he's going to be a secret character. No, nah, they just cut him all together. Like, no, nah, that was unacceptable. This was a character the community was getting riled up about. We wanted to see this. Yeah, sure, the Golden Sun series might be a little bit dead and... Uh, not doing anything, but that doesn't stop other franchises from being in Smash Bros, right? <laughs> Ice Climbers, Game & Watch, just to name a couple. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Not throwing shade at anybody, but it's a part of the point. So, Isaac, Golden Sun, you gotta flash forward to uh, Smash Ultimate now. Again, speculation started occurring. Hey, Isaac, could he happen? Maybe. Uh, kept getting uh, closer and closer to the release date of Smash Ultimate. And a month before Smash Ultimate gets released... They finally show Isaac. He was back in Smash Bros, which was great, but they're like, all right, he's an assist trophy. But he got major upgrades. His attacks were, you know, he got several different attacks. Uh, his character model obviously got upgraded as well, and visuals and everything. So it's like, I don't know if they plan to maybe make him a playable character early stages, and they just kind of said, no, put him back as an assist trophy. I don't know. But it seems a little weird. Just I'm just pointing it out. Tiny bit weird. That they take out this assist trophy from Wii U 3DS, and then they bring them back for Smash Ultimate, but then give them a bunch of upgrades and new uh, new attacks and different stuff with the Synergy Hand where it pushes you. Well, it always pushed you, but now it grabs you. Now it slams down on the ground. Like, they, they put extra work into it. So, I appreciate the extra work to make the character look a bit better, but it's like, hey... Playable status. We want that to happen. So, like, I've been a fan. I'm, I'm a fan of the Golden Sun series, obviously. I'm a fan of Isaac. I know... But, like, I don't know, it, it's tough for me to, uh, it, it's, I don't know, it, it's tough for me to not want this character, it just because, like, you, you get so attached to characters, right, over the course of whatever, uh, your, your lifespan, playing games, you just get attached to characters and you're like, hey, Smash Bros gives us that possibility, gives us that chance to see this character duke it out with other legends in gaming, come on, why not? Not saying Isaac is a legend, but... To my point, though, it's, it's still be incredible to finally see. So that is going to be my biased fighter pass. Would you buy it? Would you be happy with it? Is it, you know, rate it, rate it out of 10 if you if you really want to. If anyone watches this far in the video, rate it out of 10. Let me know. And, of course, like I stated earlier, let me, uh, let me know if you'd buy it. And then let me know your own biased fighter pass. Anyway, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Game Awards coming up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we do get some sort of Smash announcement. Next DLC character, maybe two. Probably not two, but I'm just saying maybe something. Fingers crossed for that. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.